everyone, welcome to season 2 of the F1 Career Made, starting here today with the Australian Grand Prix, but before we get to that, I'm going to finally show you who will be driving for Brown GP in 2021, he's going to be the meme lord himself, Lando Norris, if you're excited for this season, and you want to see more like this make sure to like and subscribe if you want to and let's get into this so pretty much everything's going to be staying the same instead of going with loop i've gone with pafrico i think that's how you say it as i mentioned last season i wanted to stay with honda take them back to the top back to like the mclaren days not 2016 um but to add a bit more realism i'm gonna put the title sponsor's name in my in my team name we're gonna be going green after going gray red and black last season we're going green i thought it would be cool to do sort of british racing green a bit like aston martin so we've changed the logo colors as well i hope you like the car by the way at the start of this video you can see it again in the background now um all green overalls green and white with a bit of black that's going to be our colors for this season so let's go into the driver transfers there hasn't been too many big ones obviously us taking lando has really kicked it off we've got a real a actual one with ricardo going to mclaren we've then got perez going to renault um, which leaves space up at racing point that's going to go to george russell because lando norris is with us now and hopefully he can help us along the way because dropping callum Eilat as well science sticking with mclaren ocon and perez gonna be the lineup stroll keeps his daddy boy seat and george russell steps up to the plate into that racing point seat kevin magnuson goes to aston to alfa romeo Giovinazzi goes to williams replacing george russell and latifi stays at the back callum Eilert then is going to haas to partner Guan Yu joe both our teammates from last season and nick de Vries. so if the driver's out the way bit of interesting one sort of some realistic ones as well ricardo going to mclaren both haas boys getting dropped essentially and having two rookies come in um as well but this is the start of a new season into qualifying then can anything change you can see on the helmet black and green and kicking it off in australia looking back at it now we probably could have mixed up the calendar done a shorter one but i'm thinking i'm going to do that for season three if we get that far hopefully we do but to complete our very first flying lap then we've gone around the final corner we've gone up to the line and it's p6 you would have seen on the r and d that with we're no longer at the back we've gained a couple of positions we've stepped up a little bit that very shocking um um r&d reset the probably the worst one we could have got out of all four with the durability lando norris though comes up to the line and he is gonna go 12th so the car's looking like it's got some pace but this is any qualifying of course the race is where the points are into the second to last corner and the final corner I always struggle with the final corner here in australia I kind of every time i put my foot down i feel like i'm going to go wide so i lift a little bit and for the first round of the season we will just get into q2 this time last season we were down at the back with Guan Yu Joe, you can see those who have fallen, Nick De Vries one of them, so too is Callum Milo and Guan Yu Joe. Into Q2 now, and we're in the middle of the sector, you can see Valtteri Bottas has just gone fastest, 
Edge after taking his first world title um, last season. He's been beaten. They're there and we've made a massive mistake. We've gone onto the grass and we've spun round and we've hit the barrier on our flying lap. We've ripped off half our front wing. And that's not a good way to start qualifying. Um, just putting it on the grass, we'd have seen that. And look at the understeer now. We've got half a front wing. And we're going to have to drag this back to the pits and go again. And may possibly on the same tyres, but we're probably going to have to use fresh ones. Let's just look at the state of it. Understeer it everywhere. Looks like it might rain as well, but we'll have to see about that. Coming towards the end of Q2, can we potentially get into Q, Q3 for the very first time? Can this season be a new dawn? So we're out, both of us out in Q2. We've beaten our teammate Lando Norris. So I think all British lineup, British Racing Green, it's going to be a good season. But first, we must speak to our best mate Claire, who I haven't featured because it's quite irrelevant, isn't it? These interviews, we're going to go with Daniel Ricciardo as our rival because we're kind of around Renault so let's get into the round one of this 2021 season what promises to be another thrilling season of Formula One action pre-season time subject of so much discussion in recent weeks mean nothing now as the cars line up to battle it out for points once again so let's get this season underway Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get to another year of Formula 1 underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas puts it on pole and just edging out Lewis Hamilton. Sebastian Vettel is on the second row with George Russell fourth. Esteban Ocon's fifth with Max Verstappen sixth. It's Albon, then it's Stroll, Kvyat, Magnussen, Ricardo, St Perez, Gasly, Leclerc. Then come the two brand GP cars, then it's... Giovinazzi and the McLaren, Callum Eilert, Guan Yu Zhou, and at the back is Nicholas Latifi. So that's your grid, and now on to, on to the grid from the grid. <laughs> and we're going to be starting on the medium compound tyre, get that out of the way, and then we can potentially just absolutely gun it at the end on the two soft compounds unless there's a late safety car or something to mix it up a bit but that's enough waffle we've gone for everyone everything we've gone through the driver transfers but now it's time to get down to business round one it's time for the five lights to go out here in australia Lights out and away we go, the two Mercedes get away, well it's a great start by the Ferrari there, Sebastian Vettel tries to ease his way through, there goes George Russell down the inside, we're going to go right to the inside, we've gained a couple of positions there, we go in front of the McLaren, I think that's Daniel Ricciardo as both Mercedes go side by side, now we're side by side with Desen Alfatari, if absolutely sends it down the inside, our vice Ricciardo, the Renault there, I think that's Pierre Gasly, what a start by him. Fair play Pierre, she's got something to prove after last season. And we're right on, on the back of the Renault, I think that's Sergio Perez following through a little bit wide though. 
but fortunately the McLaren behind of Daniel Ricciardo is a little bit too far back, sorry that's a Renault of Sergio Perez, in front of us I think is Esteban Ocon, as we go through towards the middle sector, that fast left right chicane, and now we're defending the Renault into the end of, no, I don't know what idea what colour that is, it is Sergio Perez we're defending, he was fending off Danny Rick, and like we're kind of trying to have a look around the outside there, but he couldn't pull that off as we go on towards lap two of this season. Here comes Sergio Perez, going to pull it around the outside. We squeeze him off the track and squeeze him out of it. Having that, the now Red Bull driver is moved to Renault. And now then further around the lap he's going to have another go here, our car is quick but it's not too this quick just yet unfortunately and Perez gets this pretty easily, going to try and get him back through the quick chicane, what a defending move that is if I do say so myself, that's a bit like button and massa just hanging it out, one of the Williams is now attacking um, Daniel Ricciardo, it was the Ferraris there as well, this is a replay of what happened, you can see Perez pretty much got us and then I just tried to hang it around the outside, nearly contact Perez up to back completely out of it to have any chance of not having contact, we're on to lap 5 and Carlos Sainz has retired from the Grand Prix in his McLaren that Renault engine may not have much reliability look at that it's round one and that's already one engine down for Carlos Sainz look like we might have saved Lando Norris from potentially bad McLaren so Sainz is out of the race and now the other McLaren it is going at us now around the outside tries to go Daniel Ricciardo it looks like McLaren may have some bad reliability as we're side by side with Daniel Ricciardo. Look at Charles Leclerc though. Go down the inside of both of us. What a move by the Monagas there. We're trying to defend him back. We can't defend him back. What a move by Charles Leclerc. One of the moves of the season already. And we're only in Australia. Which is, if it's the now real life calendar, would be in November. But well, we can ignore that. As, as Daniel Ricciardo has another look at us there, we have got a real fight on our hands with Daniel Ricciardo. Of course, it's the Aussie man at his home Grand Prix is going to have the whole of this track behind him, and we've got it, and we're probably going to have some bruised elbows afterwards. But here come Daniel Ricciardo, this time to the inside, a bit like Sergio Perez did, and we're going to try and do what Perez did again, but we've clipped the grass, and Daniel Ricciardo goes through, and after defence, after defence, it looks like it's all over, and now here comes the for uh, the, the Williams of Chief Nazi has a big wobble on the exit and we do defend. And now look on the back, this is Max Verstappen as, as Lando Norris pits from the back. I think he didn't really go anywhere at the start, but here comes a racing point now with George Russell. We've got ourselves really caught in the middle here of everyone, because we've had to go longer, but this is the lap that I'm planning to pit, but we're right in the thick of it here. George Russell in the racing point, we've got Max Verstappen behind us, and we want to pit, and we've hit Max Verstappen, and there goes Asafel Ocon, he's hit us as well as Ocon, and that's something you've never seen before, we've nearly wiped out Verstappen, had to break, let him back foot pass, as Ocon's trying to go round the outside of both of us, he's ripped his front wing off, and it's all gone on, and we just wanted to some soft tyres. We'll have another look at that in a minute. But first we'll see where we come out. Supposed to 
the others we've actually been beaten out we've lost a lot of positions here we've lost out the strategy has not worked we've lost out to Ricardo we've lost out to our teammate we've lost out to both of the Haas boys and nearly the to the Alpha and Nick to freeze and we basically have now we've gone wide but we've managed to keep him behind us somehow there but this is a replay then of what happened at this at the pit stop you can see here I didn't actually see Verstappen so I went to turn into the pits then he was there and then Ocon I don't know what Ocon's doing as we can see here I'm trying to go around the outside of George trying I know that I need to back off so I back off go in that's when the contact did with, with Verstappen and then Ocon just comes out of nowhere hits we need to clip the barrier as we have to turn back on ourselves to get into the pits and look see there we just have to go in and then Ocon don't know what Ocon's doing he just he just tried to go around the outside of both of us you can see here that I backed off to let George go through and then Max just thought that was an opportunity to go around my outside and then I wanted to go into the pits and then of course we had to break, let Max go through and then go into the pits this is what happened from Esteban Ocon's point of view you can see there we turn in, there's a contact with Verstappen and then Ocon just turns in I don't know, make, make it that as you will I caused all of it, I'm not going to lie there but now we can put that behind us we didn't end up with any damage was we dive bomb up the inside Callum my lot there as we are battling our former teammates and we've got both of them there two teammates last season hopefully we can hang on to just the one in Lando Norris this season as he is next up on our overtaking list hopefully you can see Ricardo just flow through there so we've lost out we've caught Ricardo though the pace we had on these tyres is being held up by Lando Norris can we get the Aussie back probably would have been happy to get away from a green gearbox but he's got another green gearbox up and now he's in a sandwich of a brown GP car as out of the way after the race goes Lewis Hamilton pretty sure he was leading the race and Lewis Hamilton in a Mercedes that look bulletproof not only have Renault looked dodgy and reliability with that Carlos Sainz retirement Mercedes have done it as well and Lewis Hamilton from the lead of the Grand Prix his engine's gone bang and the driver that's always been very good at man managing all of that stuff is out of the Australian Grand Prix the first time since 2014 and this has helped us because it's not it's fairly in the middle of the race so now we can pit and go on to our second set of soft tyres although we're going to lose out to those doing the one stop but we can have fresh tyres and we're going to be obviously much closer to them now um, we're on lap 17 or 29 so we've got to get them 12 laps but if the safety car stays out obviously that will prolong the life of the tyres so we're going to have to sit back see where we are and hopefully we'll be able to catch some before the end of course we can see it with P19 maybe points but let's not get ahead of ourselves we've got some building blocks put in place we've So you can see everyone filing through here as the safety car is coming in. We watch George Russell here currently sitting in a P3. Um, Bottas leads from Sebastian Vettel. So the top three now essentially without Lewis Hamilton is the same. Um, as it's me and Latifi down at the back. And now we're going to have to get our head down. As we have got some overtaking to do in this race. You can see everyone just in front. The first on the list is Esteban Ocon. I'm not sure whether he's pitted to repair his front wing. Maybe he has if he's that far down at the back. But now we're going to send it down the inside at this second to last corner. We've got a good, good move there. If... 
it shouldn't really have gone for that because now we're probably going to be attacked but we have to pace so it doesn't really matter as we go past now the Alfa Romeo down the inside into turn one I think that is Nick De Vries very odd one that at um, Alfa but he's going to come back at us here is he into turn four we squeeze him out and we're done and dusted and next up is the Haas we've got to go for him again second time we're on the back of one of them and we're going to get closer closer can we maybe go down the inside yes we can down the inside of Haas number one probably Grand you Joe he was absolutely shocking compared to Callum Eilat as they're going to go free wide in the background are they no they've given up they, they all backed out as now into onto the next lap and we're on the back of the other house and we're gonna go down the inside of them I'm not too sure of the numbers with the two house boys um, obviously they are both our teammates so I probably should know that but I would I just look at the car so you know and for the third time this race we're on the back of Daniel Ricciardo Jeff wants us to pit we're not going to pit because there's only six laps left but can we get through the tyres are starting to die now but so hopefully are those hard tyres as we breeze past Daniel Ricciardo we've gone from some bruised elbows from him to being able to attack him next up is our teammate Lando Norris we go down the inside we get Lando fairly easily because we are on the fresher tyres and we have a special little button that gets him out the way and next up is Giovinazzi in the Williams. I'm pretty sure he he always has some odd ones for me. Remember on F1 2019, we go down the inside of him. On F1 2019, we went to um, Mercedes, and now he's gone the other end to Williams. Very odd. We've got past him, but look at the state of the tyres now. We're just two laps to go. And um, both. Norris and Ricardo have got past Giovinazzi and this is on the final lap into turn four Lando Norris goes down our inside we have to try and hang it round to be off the inside line for the next one but Lando Norris has the grip on those hard tyres he softs a shot and Lando Norris gets past us there up into P12 he'll be getting a sack in the morning don't worry about that but as Riccardi now tries to go around the outside these tyres are dead but fair play Lando Norris fair play what a way to introduce yourself really putting up a fight which is what I want to see it's what I want to happen if we're going to go forward and go through the pecking order we need a strong driver up and coming as well like Lando as I guess we kind of are as well Lando Norris is going to take P12, it's going to be a 12th and 13th for us, which is a, a little bit better from where we started. Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So Bottas kicks off the season with another win in Australia, probably Bottas 8.9 by now. Um, 
Vettel getting back on the podium, George Russell getting his first ever podium, probably should be a second after that secure race last year, that has no impact on the game, I have no idea why I said that, um, down at the back of City Retirements, Hamilton and Carlos Sainz, Hamilton trying to regain his crown then after that failed 2020 campaign, he wants to make it eight. Can he do that this season? We'll have to wait and see. There's no point showing you the driver's standings because it's literally the result of this race. You can see though, in the constructors, we're not bottom for once. And neither are Williams. It's Haas. <laughs> McLaren, my head of McLaren. Racing point at the top. And you can see here that Lando Norris actually has a higher acclaim than us. So... I still haven't really got my head around that. If you could let me go down below, that'd be very handy indeed. We've gained a little bit, but you haven't got the um, point sponsor. You have to finish inside the top 10 for that one. We've got some damage caused that error in qualifying. 15 million in the bank. Um, obviously, at the end of last season, we saved up so I could afford Lando Norris. I thought about getting George Russell. But here we're going to do upgrades on the engine because that's where we're weak and of course that's where I want to build from. I want to take Honda along with us right to the top and if we can do that, that'd be that'd be great. Um, so we've got two engine upgrades on the way. Hopefully they don't fail. But if you have enjoyed this video and you're excited for the rest of it, then... Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you for the next round in Bahrain. Goodbye.